Hello, this is Kathy Benninger, nurse practitioner with Ohio Health Pulmonary Rehabilitation. In this presentation, we will be talking about COPD flare-ups. How do you know if you're having a flare-up or exacerbation? One of the earliest signs is a change in your shortness of breath level. You may also notice more coughing or wheezing. Your mucus may be colored or thick and difficult to expectorate or cough out. Um, sometimes you'll feel more fatigued um, and definitely feel a need to use your rescue inhaler more than usual. The most common cause of a flare-up is infection, and that can be either bacteria or viruses. Other things include irritants, such as pollution, or smoke. Smoke uh, in the air, but also from tobacco use. And it can also be from pollens, especially if you have allergies. So what happens during a flare-up? Well, the infection or irritation causes inflammation and swelling and mucus formation inside the breathing tubes. The swelling and mucus then blocks or slows airflow through the breathing tubes, making you feel more short of breath and leading to coughing. What should you do if you believe you're having an exacerbation or flare up? Start with your rescue medicine and take it as prescribed. If you're not noticing benefit after 24 to 48 hours, contact your provider. Your provider will ask additional questions to determine if this is a COPD flare up and if you may also have an infection that's causing the flare up. The most common treatment include taking your daily medicine as prescribed, using your rescue medicine on a regular basis until you're back to normal, and if you're having an exacerbation, many providers will order steroid pills to reduce the inflammation and swelling in the breathing tubes quickly. Antibiotics may be ordered if there's signs of an infection. You may want to ask your provider for a COPD action plan to help guide treatment. This is an example of a COPD action plan. It's actually a set of instructions that you can follow when you're not feeling well. It's written by your provider and tailored just for you. It will list signs of a flare-up and what action to take at home and when to call in for additional medicine. It also tells you when you should call or seek emergency care. Flare-ups can be problematic for a number of reasons. First of all, the medicines we use to treat them can worsen other medical problems like diabetes or high blood pressure. Increasing the use of your rescue inhaler can cause tremors or anxiety. Research has shown that your muscles can be weaker after a flare-up and that you have a faster drop in your lung function. Certainly, they can lead to missed work time or even hospitalization. There are a number of things that you can do to prevent flare-ups. It's important that you take your medicines as prescribed. Try to avoid people who are sick, and always wash your hands before you touch your eyes, nose, or mouth, or before eating. Try to eat healthy and exercise regularly. Do not smoke, and do not breathe other people's smoke. Monitor the air quality index. If the levels are above 100, you may want to plan indoor activities rather than spend much time outdoors. Avoid things that you know worsen your COPD and get the recommended vaccines to prevent infections. Always start treatment at the first sign of a flare-up and call your provider if you're not improving. For people who continue to have two or more flare-ups per year, your provider may talk to you about starting a medication to help reduce the number of flare-ups. Common medicines used for this include dalaresp or azithromycin. Each have side effects and potential complications, so it's important to weigh the risk and benefit of these medicines.